Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to use AutoGPT using Docker. So without further ado, let's go ahead into the video. First of all, what we would need to do is of course we would need to install Docker if you don't already have. So you can go to docker.com and if you are using the Windows operating system, it is right here. We will be downloading the Docker desktop and for the others, uh, Apple, Linux, even Intel, you can install it through there. So I'm going to go ahead and install the Docker desktop for Windows. Now, once that it's installed, let's go ahead and run the installer. Now we'll go ahead and just click OK. This will then install Docker desktop itself. Now, after the installation is complete, of course, we will need to restart our Windows. So we'll go ahead and do that. So after the restart, we should be able to get this, where Docker will be asking about the subscription that we have. So let's go ahead and accept this. So as you can see here, we need to update the WSL update kernel version so let's go ahead and open up our terminal and then let's run wsl update so we'll let wsl update itself let's close off docker desktop for now and as you can see here it says the subsystem for linux so wsl has been installed or updated so let's open up docker once again that error should be fixed and here you are so we have all of this up now what we would need to do is we need to make sure that we have docker compose working so let's go back to our terminal and then let's type in docker compose version as you can see here we have an output so that means that we have docker fully installed now i'm gonna go ahead and create a project directory um let's call it auto gpt right here and then let's go into the directory itself and now we're going to create a wheel or a yml so that uh, we can allow docker itself to do the installation for us so i'm just gonna use notepad here and then if we go to the auto gpt setup documentation go down and we should be able to see it here this is the yml file that they would want so we'll go ahead and copy all of this and save it here it is file and then we will save this as docker compose and then change to all file types we'll save it as dot yml we are so once that we have saved this we need to make sure that that yaml file is in the directory that we want so if we go to the same directory we should be able to see that it is here now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the image uh, the docker image of auto gpt so it can be done through the docker hub so we need to find significant gravitas auto gpt right here and we're going to be using this command right here docker pull and then the image itself so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to run this in the terminal And yes, we'll be using the latest tag for this. And here we are. So we've downloaded the image. Now that uh, we have the image composed, we're going to need to create a .env file. So this .env file template can be found in the GitHub itself. So if we go to github.com slash significant gravitas, we should be able to see auto gpt and then we will look for this 
dot env dot template right here and we're gonna create a copy of this so uh i'm just gonna quickly open up a new notepad for this and then just copy it from there there's probably easier ways to do this and then i'll save this as an env file so dot env here it is and then we'll save this now what we'll need to look for is the open ai api key open ai api key which is this one right here and now what you would need to do is you would need to go to uh, open ai itself to get the api key so that will be in uh, platform.ai.com slash account slash api keys we then log into our account and then we will look for uh, the api and then you can use your keys that you've generated before or you can create a, a new key as well so i'll call this one docker auto gpt we'll copy that secret key and then head back to the dot env itself and then change this to our key now let's save this and then head back to the terminal uh, now we need to build our image so let's type in docker compose build auto gpt and hit enter now let's go ahead and run auto gpt by calling docker compose run then rm auto gpt and here we are so we have an output so it says welcome to auto gpt below you'll find the latest auto gpt news blah, blah, blah. so this gives you all of the information so we'll go ahead and enter to continue and now we have auto gpt running so as you can see we can either make it as a manual mode or we can make it as an automatic mode so i want auto gpt2 to create a list of latest uh, GPU hardware under say a thousand dollars so as you can see here it has um, auto generated everything and then it's even created its own name uh, the role itself here are the goals is trying to do and then here is it acting as it should so if we quickly take a look an ai system specializes in research providing the latest gpu hardware options under a thousand for gaming video editing blah, 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 blah. so here are the goals conduct thorough research to identify the latest most powerful gpu hardware prioritize options based on specific needs and this is the memory type that we have set up so that's in the yaml file or the yml file if you don't want that you can just remove that and then here is the first thought is i need to determine what task to perform next so it's gonna you know look for the latest gpu hardware uh it tells you its reasoning and it tells you the plans and it has some criticism as well so we can allow alta gpt to continue with this we can run it in continuous commands and then we have some self so feedback or we can finish as well so let's say let's let's let this run for three um iterations so say yes three now as you can see it is using google chrome as the browser itself so it, it is sending out ai agents to research all of this and as you can see it was trying to access google but it did not for some reason maybe i didn't set it up fully for research but here you are so i'm just gonna abort this but you have now um managed to run auto gpt through docker so again once that you know you have docker fully set up all you need to do is just run docker compose run and then rm auto gpt so this will update everything up it will take a look at the memory that you have and then we can go ahead with this 
So again, you can make Auto GPT autonomous or we can make it manual as well so that you can create the type of uh, bot that you want. So yeah, say for example, this one, I had, you know, I call it Researcher GPT. Researcher GPT is an AI assistant that uh, looks at the latest, uh, I don't know, GPU hardware under a thousand dollars. So it's the same as we did earlier on, but it's more, there's more manual. So you, you, you can set what kind of goals it wants. So you're, you're basically teaching auto GPT its role and it will do that. But there you go. So we have managed to set auto GPT within Docker and feel free to explore auto GPT even more. Now, if you have found this tutorial useful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you next time.